majority of patients where a good thorough physical examination and MRI of the rectum shows no evidence of cancer following the radiation and chemotherapy, the majority of those patients are cured. The problem is somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 30 percent will develop a regrowth of the tumor in the wall of the rectum. And even though that tumor can be resected, in most cases with the same operation that would have been required originally, what we're learning is that patients with that local regrowth do not have such a good uh, cure rate and um, may have additional um, risk of local uh, progression of disease or um, metastatic dis uh, dissemination of disease that means they were harmed by the waiting period. Uh, the data is complex because these studies have to be done in a non-randomized fashion. Patients do not want to be assigned randomly to have a rectal resection which might require colostomy uh, versus uh, a watch and wait uh, paradigm. The benefits of watch and wait when it's successful are so enormous the avoidance of a major operation, the associated costs, the, the risk of surgical complications, and the quality of life changes that are associated with, with uh, 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 rectal resection, such as a colostomy, alteration of bowel function, even if they're reconnected, loss of sexual um, uh, function, uh, that there is a strong um, um, tendency for patients to latch on to the idea and not want to let go of it. So they, in some cases, won't return for follow-up, or even if they have clear evidence that their tumor didn't go away, once they've heard about watch and wait, they resist the idea of surgery. So managing it is, uh, I think, very worthwhile, but it's time-consuming. It requires an educational process for the patient, and it certainly requires a patient who's intelligent, compliant, and understands that in complex uh, management such as this, there's not a guarantee of an outcome. This risk of local regrowth is hard baked into watch and wait. We haven't been able to eliminate it. Um, but uh, we do know that um, uh, timely surgery at the first sign of local regrowth is probably uh, mitigating the risk of further tumor progression. And we, uh, it's essential that watch and wait patients be willing to come back to be checked. They need to be examined. They need to have an MRI scan. And the critical period is the first two to three years uh, after entering a watch and wake surveillance program. In the first two years, we examine patients every three to four months. And that would include a finger exam, an endoscopic exam, looking into the rectum. MRI scans are done in the range of four to six months during that first two-year period. After the two-year mark is reached, about 80 to 90 percent of the risk of local regrowth is gone. And also, interestingly, we've noticed the tumors that grow back on a more longer time scale seem to be less aggressive tumors. And interesting, although you'd think that longer waiting period was dangerous, in fact, the longer uh, time interval of regrowth it turns out um, surgical salvage is actually quite effective. These tumors are probably regrowing from remnants of low-grade low cancer, or even adenoma that didn't regress with radiation and is growing back in a more indolent fashion. It seems the more dangerous ones are when you suppress the cancer, but the, 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 you're selecting for more aggressive cancer cells, and those are the ones that rebound more quickly in the six to 12 month time frame. And uh, that's not completely true, but there is a trend that we're noticing in, the, in that direction, uh, that rapid regrowth is uh, often uh, the worst thing that we, we see. The long-term goal would be to develop better therapies that can more consistently and reliably eradicate the tumor. But in the short term, what we're trying, focusing on, is trying to refine the diagnosis of a complete clinical response. When is the cancer truly gone? And we're doing a very meticulous um, um, archiving of photographs as tumors uh, disappear in response to radiation. We're doing serial MRI studies of the tumor, and we're doing 
biopsies and genetic analyses of the tumors. And we're hoping that looking at uh, genetic subsets in combination with uh, sophisticated image analysis and trying to integrate all this information to develop early signposts of the tumor that may look like it's gone, but has a higher likelihood of eventually regrowing. So um, the low-hanging fruit has already been picked. We know that the test of time is still the major um, predictor of a complete response, but we're trying to enhance that with these other diagnostic modalities to hopefully further um, uh, refine our ability to pick the patients who truly will uh, benefit uh, from watching weight.